Good morning. We shall read the entrance antiphon. <clears throat> if you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But with you is found forgiveness, O God of Israel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Let's ask God to forgive our sins and make us worthy to celebrate this Eucharist. I confess in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after and make us always determined to carry out good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, it is written that Abraham had two sons, one by the slave woman and the other by the free-born woman. The son of the slave woman was born naturally the son of the freeborn through a promise. Now this is an allegory. These women represent two covenants. One was from Mount Sinai, bearing children for slavery. This is Hagar. But the Jerusalem above is freeborn, and she is our mother. For it is written, Rejoice, you barren one who bore no children. Break forth and shout, you who were not in labor. For more numerous are the children of the deserted one than of her who has a husband. Therefore, brothers and sisters, we are children not of the slave woman, but of the freeborn woman. For freedom, Christ set us free. So stand firm and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. The word of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Praise you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Who is like the Lord our God, who looks upon the heavens and the earth below? He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill he lifts up the poor. Blessed be the name of Lord forever. Our 
Alleluia, alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While still more people gathered in the crowd, Jesus said to them, This generation is an evil generation. It seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it, except the sign of Jonah. Just as Jonah became a sign to Ninevites, so will the Son of Man to this generation. At the judgment, the Queen of the South will rise with the men of this generation and she will condemn them because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And there is something greater than Solomon here. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it because at the preaching of Jonah, they repented and there is something greater than Jonah here. The Gospel of the Lord. This is an evil generation. It is seeking for a sign. Sometime back, I read a story of Anthony DiMello. He speaks of a learned person who wanted to do research in northwest of India. It's called Rajasthan, very close to Pakistan. There's a huge desert. It's called the Great Desert of India also. So when he reached there, he saw all the archaeological places, and he wanted to do some study about the desert. So he took a guide. They traveled for a day, and they were going by camel, because that's the only way they can travel in the desert. After a day's journey, it was evening, and the guide said, it's time to rest. So they pitched their tent, they tied their camel, and they were about to sleep. But this local person, who was very simple, probably not much educated, he knelt down, raised his hands, thanked God for guiding him, and the tourist, and then asking God to be with them throughout the night in the desert. And this learned man said, what are you doing? The person said, I'm praying to God. Where is God? You must be a fool to believe in God. See, I'm a learned person. I have traveled many countries, done so much of research, I don't believe in God. But this person, who had no answer, he kept quiet. Both of them went to bed. The early morning the following day, this researcher came out from the tent and he was walking around. And then he called the person, come, come. What happened? There were three camel that passed this way last night when we were asleep. And that local person said, how do you know it? I don't see any camel around here. How can you say that camel passed this way? And the researcher said, look at the footprints. Look at the fo footprints of the camel that they passed. And then this simple person said, how foolish and how blind you are. Look at the footprints of God. See the sun rising from the east, a bright sun rising. The footprint of God. Look at this vast desert, the footprint of God. Look at me, the image of God, footprint of God. Look at yourself. If you can say that camel passed this way last night, just looking at the footprint, 
Still you fail to look at the footprints of God all around you, in the sky, in the world, and in you? How oh, true, dear brothers and sisters, the Pharisees, the teachers of the law, the scribes, they failed to see God in Jesus. Every time he did a miracle, people believed in him. There were people who were astonished at the power that he had, but there were some who were blind. They never want to see Jesus, or they never want to see God in Jesus. Today, dear brothers and sisters, are we able to see God in our own life, in others' life, in the world around? We have the, if the sign of God, the footprints of God, in and around us every day. Let's ask God that we might see him every minute, every day of our life. And now we shall all stand and pray for our needs. For the church, may the Holy Spirit continue to lead us to a deeper conversion of faith. We pray to the Lord. For civic leaders, may the Lord guide their work of serving the needs of their communities. We pray to the Lord. For all those who are oppressed, may God deliver them to safety and freedom. We pray to the Lord. For our faith community, may the grace of this sacrament bring us closer to Christ and one another. We pray to the Lord. For all who have gone before us in faith, may they find eternal rest and joy. We pray to the Lord. And for what else shall we pray now? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For Joseph Palato, for whose intention this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Let us pray. Lord God, hear these prayers which we humbly bring before you and answer them in accordance with your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, 
May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord, our God. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself by the blood of his cross, brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 heaven and earth are full of your glory. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the Son and the Highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints on whose and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co haste eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
Let's pray for the coming of God's kingdom as Jesus taught us. Our Father, thy kingdom come. Lord. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of Jesus Christ be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and so shall be healed.
communion antiphon. We shall read the second one. When the Lord appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers in his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Mass is tender. We shall go in peace. Pray to St. Michael, the Archangel. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of Heavenly Host, by the power of God, for us from the hell, Satan, all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. Mm-hmm. 